Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about saline infusions for the treatment of POTS. I'm going to be talking about what it is, how it works, benefits, risks and my experience and also the difference between using it occasionally and using it regularly. So I'll start with what it is. Saline is salty water and it's put through an IV, which means through a vein, and it just goes into the body and that's kind of all it is. And how it helps with POTS is that people with POTS, they either have a lot of blood pooling, which is their blood going to their lower extremities, so like your legs and your feet, or they have low blood volume, so there's just not a lot of blood circulating in their system. And so by getting a saline infusion, it actually brings your blood volume up and that can bring up your blood pressure and lower your heart rate, which are things that people with POTS struggle with. So that's essentially what it's good for. And now I'm going to talk about my experience with it and the benefits because I've just had really good experiences with it. So the main way that it helps you, like I said, is that it lowers your heart rate, brings up your blood pressure, and that means that you'll often be able to sit for longer, stand for longer, or walk for longer. It does depend what your baseline is, but whatever you're at before, you can typically do more. It can also help with headaches and energy, and all of the kind of normal symptoms of dehydration, because people with POTS tend to be dehydrated, I'm not sure why that is, but like I said, they typically have lower blood volume and often gastro symptoms, which means they can't drink as much. So for me personally, in the UK, if you don't have a feeding tube or a central line, which I'll talk about that in a bit, you can't get IV fluids, which is what this is, unless you're in an emergency situation. So I've only got them when I was extremely ill, like in such a crazy severe POTS flare. So I can only really talk about it in that sense. So in those instances, I've often gone to hospital in an ambulance because I couldn't sit up. And then after the infusion, I've been able to walk out of the hospital. So if you think about it that way, going from not being able to sit up to walking out of the hospital really is amazing. Another great thing about this is that there are little to no side effects. Saline is salty water and it's in the exact concentration that you need so most people don't have any issues at all. For some people it's only a little bit helpful and for others it can be extremely helpful. I know of some people that said after they started regular saline infusions they felt a lot more like a healthy person they didn't even feel like they had POTS and then for another person it could just help them sit up or walk from one room to another so it does depend on you like everything I suppose in that sense it's similar to a medication because no one reacts in the same way and moving on to the risks the risks aren't caused by the saline itself it's caused by the way you receive the saline so it depends if you're getting them just occasionally or if you're going to be getting them more regularly. If you get them more regularly, then there are more risks associated with that, but there are also more benefits. So that's something that you kind of just have to weigh up. So I'll talk about the differences between occasional and regular use now. If you get IVs occasionally, then typically you just get an IV put into your arm or your hand, and it's called peripheral because it's not in the center of your body. And the IV just stays in while you get the infusion and then would come out. So you don't get it for a long time. It's not anywhere near your heart or your vital organs. So really it's very safe. But if you get them more regularly, you can do it the peripheral way. But you risk damaging your veins, I think, if you do it over and over again. And it's just a lot more hassle. So if you were getting infusions two or three times a week, peripheral IVs probably won't be a good method for you so you'd probably get a central line placed. This can be a pick line which I think goes into the arm and then into the heart or a port which is kind of in your chest and again through the heart and they're just a lot easier to access. They stay in constantly but being a central line and being in permanently there are obviously a lot more risks with that. They're not high risks. People 
still have them successfully and if you take care of it well then it's a really good option for a lot of people and definitely not something to be put off by I would say. However you do have to consider that there would be dressing changes, it's something that stays inside you and so it is a constant thing that you'd have to look after. And in those cases people tend to get infusions about twice a week and it doesn't matter if you get it peripherally or through a central line, the average dose that people get would be one to two litres and that would be sufficient. It stays in your body and the effects continue for about two days so it's longer lasting than a medication but still it doesn't last forever. It's not like it would make you feel great for weeks at a time, it's probably only going to be a couple of days. Another thing to think about if you get regular infusions is if you have them done at home or if you go to an infusion centre. This can depend on your insurance and your healthcare provider because sometimes it's up to them but a lot of the time you do get a say in it. I know that a lot of people find it really practical to be able to do it at home. I know that if I received saline infusions regularly then that's probably the route that I would take. But if you were worried about infections and things like that and you just wanted to be, I don't know, more safe, then you could also get it in an infusion centre. And often infusion centres are the only way. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Feel free to leave me comments below if you have any questions or just anything you want to add. I've probably missed some things out but I did the best I could. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! And the reason it's better than just drinking the water is that one, it stays in your body for longer and two, it's an isotonic solution. That means that the saline is the same density as the blood in terms of electrolytes and things like that. That sounds quite technical but basically in order to expand your blood volume safely, the electrolytes need to be balanced so that it doesn't get messed up basically. You don't want to be just diluting the blood too much or over concentrating it so it's just the perfect amount.